Hello everybody, Jesse Dusty here. Welcome back to some more Juice 2. In this uh, video here, I decided to go with the a new car. So I decided to go with a new car for every league now instead of uh, doing one car for every two leagues. I thought I'd change it up and this way I'd be able to sell more cars. So I went with the Mitsubishi FTO, which I haven't driven yet. So yeah, le let's go. So yeah, I had stupidly forgot to record my microphone because I did not even open OBS to uh, record the microphone. And all I had open was the RE Central 4 program to record the gameplay on. And even then, with that program, I don't have my microphone set up because I record my microphone on OBS. So, yeah. Now I have to do post commentary for this video, but not not just for this, this video, but also the next video too on Thursday, because I didn't even check that my microphone was recording after this video here. So yeah, I don't know. I I thought everything was going good, and I it just didn't dawn on me that uh, OBS wasn't even open to begin with and recording. So. All that recorded was the game, and yeah, I had to do uh, a lot of video cutting, and I added several transitions. I don't know if uh, that would bother you with uh, this many transitions. I just thought it would make it look a little smoother, but yeah, I just I trimmed down a lot of this video just so there's no loading screens and. The fact that uh, I'm just going into the events that I did in the video. Well, minus some menu stuff here and there, but uh, we're just going straight into the events for this one. So the video is dramatically shorter. This is around 25 minutes as opposed to the over 30 minutes in the previous two videos, which I apologize for doing. I'm not intending to make it that long, but. Uh, I'm going to be trying to make the videos less than 30 minutes, so from now on I will be cutting out all the loading screens and I will be trying to uh, cut down as, as much as possible. I'll still show the uh, performance stuff here, like for example these two uh, performance uh, races here. Perfect Lap Challenge and Divine Reflex. That one was, went easy without a hitch, and this one, lap time challenge, and yeah, that was, that was about it. So that unlocked the level 2 power and weight, and I upgraded to level 2 for those, and we'll do level 3 later on in this video. So here we go, uh, yeah, I also did customization on the car, as you can see, I've got a bit of a body kit going on there, and uh, I'll uh, say more about it in a bit. But yeah, here's the events for League 7, which I will be doing also for 100%. League 6 onwards may not be 100%, because for this, for that event sp uh, specifically, spectator betting, I'm not going to be doing that every time it shows up. That's something that I'm not really interested in. I'd rather be racing myself. So, <coughs> so I'd be um, doing that for this league, but I'm not gonna do any more spectator betting because uh, for one, I'd rather be racing, as you know. And two, I don't know how you're even supposed to do it properly. It took me a few attempts and I got the required amount in this video that I needed, even though I didn't know how I got it in the first place. So yeah. This is Last Man Standing. This is one for racers with cool DNA because it's the ultimate precision circuit race. Like the perfect lap challenge, cars are eliminated when they hit a barrier. But you don't get penalized for nudging. Rubin is racing. Bobby never turns down a good thing when he sees it, and he knows all the odds. He's got confidence and mad skills. Watch out. So yeah, basically uh, what she said. 
Thank you, you got the look at the eliminator. No, this is last man standing. Right, that's right. Uh, we just made a bet against Bobby here. Oh, baby, call my bluff. Yeah, I'm doing the second most amount for the betting against him. Oh, also, yeah, this was my first attempt, and I kind of screwed up there in the corner. I w I was I meant to push Leon into the corner and then turn myself, but it failed, and Kiko was the last uh, person remaining. So yeah. So yeah, this is last man standing. The best thing to do for this event is to spook the other drivers. So be drive behind them, fill up the spook bar, and then they'll just drive right into the into the walls. So that's all you really have to do. Other than that, this is a five lap race. You can just keep on racing until you reach the uh, last lap and win first place or you can keep on going and see if the rest of their racers will eliminate themselves so that's three ways you can do this event but uh, the quickest way definitely is to uh i almost hit the wall there but the quickest way is to just spook all the drivers and they'll just go right into the walls so it's not what not really much to this event so there goes Leon, and yeah, well, three more drivers. Bobby's next. Basically, if you if you are placing a bet against someone, you generally want to get them out as soon as possible. But uh, I played this game for a very long time, and yeah, I just uh, yeah, there you go, he's done. Tyrone is the only one left, and right here, like waiting for him to catch up, and then, yep, there he goes. So then we catch him, we spook him, and then we win. Hallelujah. But yeah, I got the, oh yeah, I didn't even talk about this uh, car here. Um, this is the Mitsubishi FTO, and... I just put on the Australian license plate because it's the closest to Japan, but I was gonna put on a different license plate for each car that I use anyway. And I have the bail side body kit on. So the bail side back bumper, side skirts, and front bumper, along with the spoiler on the back there. I added a roof scoop, um, mirrors, and I blacked out the taillights and the headlights. And I put on that uh, interesting looking hood, so it's looking pretty nice. I kept it in gloss white that it came in when I bought it. And I do change the color in the next video, so we'll see that then. But I think generally I'll, I'll keep the, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, stock color on the car if it, look, if it looks nice. And then in the uh, second half of the league for the video for Thursday, I'll change the color. So yeah, here we are in the solo drift challenge. And we need to beat 50,000 for the target. And this is a front wheel drive car. I originally thought that it was going to be a four wheel drive car when I bought it. But nope, it's actually front wheel drive. Which actually doesn't... Uh, control that bad when drifting. If anything, there is a little bit of an advantage using front wheel drive for drifting. When you have a uh, speed going around the corners in a rear wheel drive car, you'll slide generally a lot more going towards the wall so you have to control the speed. Like not have too much speed going into a corner otherwise you'll just keep on sliding and you have no power to the front wheels so it's not able to help pull you away from the wall but with the front wheel drive car it's able to uh, help pull the car forward so it doesn't allow you to uh, 
go careening into the wall that often. So yeah, that's one advantage for the front wheel drive. It is a little harder to control the drifting, the side to side chaining. It is uh, harder to do that, but uh, in terms of controlling the speed in corners, yeah, it's got a bit of an advantage there. So yeah, we cleared solo drift and got 100K uh, accumulation points. So yeah, now we're gonna go into what I believe is the Eliminator here. Yes, Circuit Eliminator, Exit Presser, and yeah. And the reason I'm doing this one is because it'll also complete the uh, Circuit in London event goal. So, we complete two goals at once. It's no walk in the park. Welcome to another you generally want to do that. Ken's from Japan and came up in the street racing and drifting scene. But he doesn't put too much on it. If it ain't fun, he won't run. That's why he always puts on a show for the crowds. So, yeah. Um, yeah, Ken has the Skyline GTR, which is uh, interesting. But he's still not going to beat me. Um, I was going to say something, but uh, I don't remember what. Ursula kind of messed up my train of thought there. You bet your boots. I like it. Yeah, what he said. I I have no idea what he said there. Um. So yeah, we placed a bet against Ken. Um, I didn't bet as much because uh, I didn't know how much he would increase or if he would decrease the bet but he increased it a bit so that's fine now generally if bobby is in the race you generally want to bet against him more but if he's not in the event then uh, you can uh, bet against some of the other people crystal is one you want to avoid betting against because you'll most of the time lower the bet even if you bet the middle amount still bet lower so you don't want to bet against her at all well you have to bet against her in the initiation race way at the beginning but uh, after that you don't want to bet against her I'd say uh, Kiko would uh, be a little better in the betting department because uh, even if you bet the middle amount she might increase it a bit or she could uh, keep it as is, I don't know. I haven't really betted against her that much. I think one time in one of the previous videos, but yeah. If you want to bet against any girl in the game, Tower would be a good one because she does up the bet a bit. As long as you keep it in the middle, I don't know if you bet the second most. I don't know if uh, she'll up that like Bobby does, but just bet the middle amount against the girls and uh, other than Crystal, they'll generally um, bet more. But yeah, uh, this event here um, kind of eliminated. Yeah, this is an eliminator event. So there's three laps. Uh, Kiko kept up quite well. She uh, provided the biggest competition to me in this event, and yeah, she, she was driving pretty well. Um, yeah, I don't really uh, like this track as much. The roads are fine, it's just the, uh, the, the little, uh, not really shortcuts, like right here for example. The sand is like hard grip sand and will slow your car down a lot. And I don't know if semi-auto is in this game for the transmission. If uh, this is automatic transmission, I'm not using manual, but I don't know if manual is available. It probably is, but uh, I think you might be able to, even with automatic, I think it's semi-automatic, because I think you might be able to Oh my god. <coughs> Something got stuck in my foot. I couldn't. Ah. <coughs> Ow. Ah. My god. <coughs> Semi automatic. I think you're able to hit the buttons and it'll still 
Sift up or down. My god, I don't that hurt. Ah! Oh. Strap on your helmet and strap uh. on your oh yeah. So yeah, we did uh, beat uh, that event. We cleared both of the goals. Eliminator and uh, in London. <coughs> My god. Ah. I don't have water with me, but... Uh, uh, Milk is the next best thing, I guess. Ah. So yeah, here's uh, the driver X. We're gonna beat the car here for the performance. The rims or wheels, whichever you prefer to call it, on that asset mountain is uh, too big. Gotta be lowered or smaller. Uh, what? Ah. <laughs> oh. <coughs> So yeah, for these uh, beat the car races, I think I explained them in the previous videos. But uh, you have uh, a handicap, so um, you can uh, get ahead and then they'll start driving themselves and yeah, you gotta stay ahead and win. That's all it is. So in this video, I do these uh, beat the car challenges so I'll have level 3 performance for the next video and uh, I also changed the color to uh, an orange matte color I didn't go dark I went a little more in the middle not too bright either but uh, yeah I thought it looked uh, decent at least on my TV screen I thought it looked decent I don't know how it looks on the video for you guys but uh, I thought it looked nice looked nice when I played it <coughs> so yeah we uh, do the other event here against the Corvette Z51 or something like that I can't remember what Corvette is it, Corvette it is but uh, yeah the Corvette actually um, <coughs> even though we um, can get a little farther ahead in this one they can, the, the Corvette is uh, able to catch up a lot better than the other car. So, you'll see near the end of the race that uh, the Corvette actually catches up a bit. But, uh, yeah, as long as you uh, take the corners decently well, and with the front-wheel drive car, in this car at least, that the cornering was actually pretty good, other than right there. But, yeah, you saw the Corvette actually caught up there at the end if I didn't have the nitrous then it probably could have passed me but yeah alrighty here we go um the final event for this video is spectator betting and this is the only time I'm gonna do this event yeah so I don't know how exactly this works um, how you're supposed to do any uh, betting or booing or cheering on the drivers. I don't know how you're supposed to manipulate the competition here. I just, this, for, this is my third attempt, I think. I just bet at the beginning there, placed a bet, $2,000 on Tara. And um, I came out with 3000 current profit and was able to clear the goal. But I, I just don't know for the life of me how you're exactly supposed to do this so even if you uh, try to explain it to me in the comments below I'm not going to be taking it in because um, I'm not going to be bothering with the spectator betting in the rest of the playthrough because I'm never going to understand this I don't know yeah so yeah so I placed the bet on power I'm cheering on power I'm booing on the the guys ahead of her right now and I think this is what is supposed to happen you bet on a driver and if they get ahead in first place then the current profit will go up I'm thinking that's how it works because uh, power eventually goes into first place and the current profit Slot up the 3,000, which is the required amount I needed to pass the score. So, yep, it's right here. And there it is, the current profit. Drops down to negative 2,000, but getting in first place, it goes up to 3,000. So, yeah, that's what happens. Uh, yeah, I 
I really don't know. So, there's three laps for every spectator betting, I'm guessing. I don't know if there's two laps or whatever, but this one is uh, at Knight's Rampage course or track. The previous two attempts was at River, uh, Riverside Dallas and I didn't have any luck there at all so I just moved into here and did this one and it worked for me. I think mostly because I placed a bet at the beginning because I didn't do that in the previous two attempts. Alright, I'm still recording, that's good. Wow, whoever that was, Nicholas or whatever, he just slammed right into that uh, barrier. Ow. Yeah, also in the previous two attempts, um, people seem to have a problem with uh, driving into barriers because there'll be a, a, a small barrier in the middle of the track and then they would just go plowing into it for some reason. I don't know why. But uh, in the previous attempt, I think, um, one driver didn't just do that. Multiple of them at the same time decided to plow right into the barrier. That was that was pretty funny. I don't I don't know if I can find it and uh, show it in the video. I'll see if I can find it. But uh, yeah, if I do have the little footage there of the multi car piling into the barrier, I'll uh, show the show that at the end of this event here. So yeah, this is the second lap. Tyler, Tyler gets so far ahead, it's ridiculous. Uh, you can tell how far ahead the driver is to the person behind just by the time itself. It's like for right now it's 114, 115 and second place is 112, 113, 114. That's how far ahead the, uh, the person is. And yeah, here we go. Tower decided to ruin the back bumper of the Scion and yeah, it came off and yeah, there's a bare back end. So yeah, that's the car damage in this game. Okay. I also try to see about the betting, but it doesn't do anything. It just keeps going in the negatives. And Tyler is going to win anyway, even no one comes close to uh, catching up to us, so I just don't know what, uh, how this all works. And this is the one time it did work for me, and yeah, I'm, I'm just going to put that event behind me. So, the future leagues are not going to be 100%, depending on how many events there are and how long it takes me to do the league. So, if there's a spectator uh, betting event in the league, then I'm not going to do it. Um, there could be a couple other goals that I may or may not do, depending on um, the difficulty of them and uh, how many I can do in the video. Because I don't want to make the videos too long. So from this video onwards, just, I'm going to be trying to keep it under 30 minutes. So, there's that. So at most, the, uh, the completion percentage would probably be in the 90s somewhere. With uh, one, two, maybe three goals that are, ha are not going to be completed. So, there we go. But yeah, Tower wins, and something happens right here. I don't, I don't get what, th how this happened, but apparently a glitch here, where the car looks, yeah. I, I guess the game just didn't like Ken Skyline. He, they, they, they were mad that Ken in the Skyline didn't win the event, so they just decided to glitch the car and then drop it onto the ground and potentially hurt the suspension, so, pff, yeah. But yeah, we made the $3,000 profit and we're good to go. So yeah, this, is, uh, this has been uh, Jeff Direxi, hope you enjoyed, I will uh, see you for Thursday for another post commentary and yeah, I'll see you later.